Well, my name is Risky. I go by the moniker Risky Forever because it seems like I've been drawn for such a mighty long time. Um, I was raised in Compton, California. That's where I got my career started. Uh, I got into art. I started out tagging in um, 1989. I was tagging with a few of my homeboys. We used to catch buses and rack markets and do all of the stuff that tagging would do back in the day, right on the walls, buses, everything. I started developing my art once I got to high school. My art teacher, she started teaching me how to do fine art. So I started combining that with street art. And in that way, it's like I flipped my whole entire style and I flipped my whole entire outlook on art once I got into high school. Airbrush was the hottest thing back in the day, was the closest thing to spray painting. I mean, everybody was getting the airbrush on their clothes and they, you know, they would go to the Compton Swap Meet and get a lot of stuff airbrushed. And I used to go to the Swap Meet sometimes and I would see the guys in there airbrushing and I always wanted to, you know, get down like that. So one of my friends got an airbrush and we learned how to airbrush off of his airbrush. I worked on an insert for Tupac's All Eyes On Me. That was my first major project. That came about because I grew up in the same neighborhood Suge Knight did. My cousin Gina started telling Suge about me. She had one of my portfolio books with some drawings. She showed it to Suge. She told me Suge wanted to meet me. I ended up going to a video shoot. I talked to Suge and he ended up introducing me to Tupac Shakur. And then after that, I was on Death Row Records. I'm mainly known for the cover of uh, Machiavelli, The Seventh Day Theory. I did the cover of that. I did Death Row's Greatest Hits. I did the Death Row Christmas album. I did Nate Dogg's G-Funk's Classics. My art is a reflection of myself because it's basically like some of my stuff is pain. You can feel the pain inside of it. And some of my stuff just reflects where I come from, the streets of Compton. The streets inspire me. You know, and then looking at a lot of other artists, you know, being famous and making it out of the streets, you know, that, that inspires me too to, you know, work on doing my art. So it'll take me from one level to the next level and just basically just getting away from the streets. Like, that's what we all strive for.